All right. Hopefully this is going to work tonight, but welcome to a, another episode of Thursday Night's Warfare, ladies and gentlemen. And a very interesting show of cards tonight. Main event of the evening. It is going to be a triple threat match for the Infinity Belt. Zack Sabre Jr. will have to defend that belt. And it's Clark Connors and Corey Crichton. It's definitely not going to be a match for the faint of heart. Also, there are a lot of other title matches tonight, including the Never Open Weight Belt, the Mortal Kombat Championship. Basically, every belt that's not the world title and the tag titles are on the line tonight. It's going to be a very interesting card tonight in Osaka, Japan for this episode. But we're going to, take, we're going to kick things off with Matt Bennett taking on Wayne Campbell. This is really the only non-title match of the evening. Really, did that have to play right as the match was about to start? No, cat, I do not want to feed you. All right, the opening contest starts a 4-1 fall. Introducing first from Cleveland, Ohio. He is the son of Mr. Amazing, Matt Bennett. There's Matt Bennett getting ready to come down to the ring to face Wayne Campbell. People definitely give Matt Bennett the experience factor over Wayne, but uh, I'll never count out a guy like Wayne Campbell against anyone. Wayne's done a couple of humongous victories in his career beforehand. And here's his opponent from Chicago, Illinois. He's one half of Wayne's world. He is the uh, music channel provider, Wayne Campbell. There's Wayne with the guitar and why he needs a guitar for. Considering that he's not going to use it in a match. Well, hey, Vampiro. Good to see you. Good to, good to see you after you just wrapped up your show because you're just here for the opening contest. Between Matt Bennett and Wayne Campbell. There's nothing really on the line in this match. But this is, like I said earlier, this is the only non-title match of the evening as every title but the world and tag titles are on the line tonight. But we will hear from the world champion after the main event. Probably regarding uh, his match with Corey Crichton happening next week on MSW and probably talking about Gabe Kidd. Right now, uh, Campbell's going after that leg and what a move by Wayne Campbell. Kick to the ribs of DDT right there from Wayne Campbell and Matt Bennett. Drops the elbow across the chest. Earlier right now, Wayne is having a good start to this contest against Matt Bennett. I don't know if Matt, I don't know if Matt Bennett is still is still you know, feeling a little different from his uh, match on MSW. Yeah. He's, he's not having a good start in this match. What a moonsault for Wayne Campbell. No, Pat, you're not getting fed right now. Start to take out that arm of Matt Bennett. There's a smart choice from Wayne Campbell. After this will be our never open weight title match as the champion Sweet Tooth will have to put his belt on the line against John Moxley. Moxley is already 1-0 today after he beat uh, I forgot who he beat for the X Division belt earlier. Anyway, uh, John Moxley is 1-0 to start today off. He did win the X Division championship today. Which was a big win for Moxley as he only has to defend that belt one more time. And if he does, he gets a chance to maybe cash in that championship for a world title opportunity. As my controller needs to be charged. Oh, he beat Bennett. So yeah, there you go. Bennett probably still feeling the effects of that death rider he took. Bennett dropping the knee right on the face of Wayne Campbell. Both Campbell and uh, Bennett are former champions in the company. Wayne Campbell is a former YouTube champion. Well, Matt Bennett is a former Infinity champion. Both men uh, fought in extremely hard battles just to win those belts. Wayne beat Art Clown while Matt Bennett won a triple threat between him, Moose, and Moon Knight. Nice court screw that was by Wayne Campbell. 
Cover by Campbell to beat Matt Bennett. And a kick out by Matt Bennett. Cat, you do not, be, you do not need to be fed. Move. Bennett's in trouble because I know what Wayne's thinking. Wayne Campbell. Think about a whiplash. And whiplash by Wayne Campbell. A whiplash on Matt Bennett to beat Bennett. And a kick out at two by Bennett. Wayne Campbell almost put Bennett away with a whiplash, but it was not enough. Bennett got caught. Uh, Wayne Campbell there, I don't know what it's going to say. Right now the leg of Wayne Campbell's getting taken down here. Bennett's now starting to get more back into the match. He needs to do this if he wants to beat Wayne. Now putting his foot right into the rib cage. Now he's kicked him. Wayne trying to back to his feet. Now he's on the ropes. Matt Bennett with a chop. And now pulling that leg into the ropes. Ooh, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Probably uh, learned that move from his father. Wayne on the ropes again. Matt Bennett going for the back. Down goes Campbell. Matt Bennett's going up top. What is this by Matt Bennett? Wayne Campbell back to his feet. Oh, and a diamond double axe handle. What a move by Matt Bennett. Bennett a cover, but a kick out by Wayne. Wayne Campbell in trouble. Matt Bennett, I'm surprised he didn't go for that driver. Oh no, I know what he's thinking. He's thinking Spanish fly from the top rope. Oh, but he got kicked in the head. Wayne just kicked him right in the head. So Wayne Campbell just blocked that Spanish fly from the top rope. As more shots right to his back. Matt Bennett. Bennett rolling to the floor, and so does Wayne. Bennett now going for the attack, but a good counter from Wayne Campbell. Despite being less experienced than uh, Matt Bennett, Wayne's definitely giving him a good fight. Bennett now back to his feet. Wayne also getting back to the ring. And oh, a clothesline in the corner. Wayne is down. Oh, but he kicked Matt right in the head. Oh, and what an uppercut. What an uppercut from Wayne Campbell. And he's going for a whiplash again. Can he hit it? Bennett's in trouble. And here we go, a second whiplash. A second whiplash by Wayne Campbell. Can he beat Bennett? And it's over. Wayne Campbell has beaten Matt Bennett. Here's your winner of the match, Wayne Campbell. As Wayne Campbell gets a, a pretty big victory over Matt Bennett, hitting that second whiplash. But uh, I kind of agree with what some other people have been saying about Matt Bennett. He has not been in the right headspace as of lately since his father, Mr. Mason, has joined the Bullet Club. Since then, Matt Bennett has not had a good weekend. So there's one half of Wayne's World with that big win. Maybe they can get a tag title match. All right, we're going to start our first of many title matches. The new X Division champion in MSW, John Moxley, will get his shot for the never open weight belt against Sweet Tooth. As right now, looks like Mr. Ted Broadpage has something to say here. As he says he's got two things to say. One is after season one, I'll go back as GM and owner of the brand, but I'll fight in other brands. Okay. And two is in the main event. Uh, okay, Steel of Hell. You'll have a six-man elimination match for a spot in his championship. Okay. It's not bad. As we'll move on to the second match of the evening. Second match of tonight is scheduled for one fall and is for the Never Open Weight Championship. Introducing first from Cincinnati, Ohio. He is a part of the BCC, aka the Blackpool Combat Club in AW, and is the trainer of is um, Shotma Umino in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He is the Death Rider, John. Moxley. 
And Moxley flipping around in the ring for some reason. Got a, did a text here. And introduces his opponent from the Wastelands. That is Twisted Metal. He is the current MOW Never Open Weight Champion. The Killer Clown, Sweet Tooth. Is there Sweet Tooth coming down to face Moxley? He's been champion ever since he beat Bane to win the belt. He's retained it a couple of times. And tonight could be his toughest challenge yet to try to keep the championship. Because Moxley is a big game player. And it's always tough to put down guys like, like John Moxley. Just ask Matt Bennett. He fought Moxley earlier tonight and he lost. There you go, the belt is on the line. Moxley versus Sweet Tooth. And the bell is run. Moxley got caught there by Sweet Tooth already. A big uppercut. Ropes. Sweet Tooth already taunting. I don't know why you're doing that. Moxley's trying to get back to his feet and he's struggling a little bit. Oh, a knee right into the face. And this has been all Sweet Tooth. We're countered by John Moxley. Can he fight back? Moxley has the arm. Oh, takes it down. Blocking like this version of an arm bar. Smart idea by John Moxley. Moxley trying to pick him up here, but a good counter. Sweet Tooth. Oh, devastating gore buster. Right to the ribs of John Moxley. Here's a cover and a kick out by Moxley. Wants to turn it back to his feet, but Sweet Tooth, the champion, is reeling. Counter, though, by Mox. Oh, stand up, drop kick. Beautiful. Moxley, big forearm, right to the face of Sweet Tooth. Now, taunting Sweet Tooth, but that's going to backfire. There's an overhead shot to the back. Sweet Tooth, he's in the head again. Sweet Tooth is in control when it's a counter from Mox. Moxley. Again, targeting that arm. This is trying to take out the uh, arms of Sweet Tooth so he can't hit any of those big power moves. Cover here by John Moxley. Moxley to win the belt. And a kick out there by Sweet Tooth. By the way, if I was in a, uh, WWE, I would be fired immediately just by saying belt. Sweet Tooth throws Moxley in the ropes. Look out, back body draw. Big back body drop there by Sweet Tooth and a kick out at one. A kick out at one from John Moxley. Moxley's in trouble though. Sweet Tooth sinking choke slam to put this thing away. Moxley's going to be thrown up in the air. Choke slam on John Moxley. He doesn't go for the cover though. The champion is trying to wear down Moxley more, but oh look out, John Moxley thinking paradigm shift. Paradigm shift by John Moxley to win the title. And a kick out by Sweet Tooth. Moxley, is he thinking about it? Is Moxley thinking Death Rider? Can he hit it? Well, Sweet Tooth moved out of the way of the Death Rider. Well, flips him up. Uh oh. Oh, Sidebreaker just pushing his knee to the spine of Moxley. And here comes the cover by the champ to keep the title. And a kick out by Moxley. Moxley's not seen die yet. Matt Bennett learned that the hard way earlier. Oh, clubbing blow to the chest. And Moxley, I think his night's done if Sweet Tooth somehow connects. Got it, ice cream slam. He, is, is the match over though? Is John Moxley's night over? Here's a cover. Is this enough to put away Moxley? And it is, Sweet Tooth is still the number open weight champion. Here's your winner and still the number open weight champion, Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth put away Moxley with that slam of his, that full Nelson slam. The Yudin Moxley credit, he fought a pretty good match, but couldn't hit the Death Rider at all. Usually once he hits Death Rider, it's one and done.
But tonight, it was not one and done, because they never got to hit it. All right, next match of the evening is going to be our rematch from our last pay-per-view. Filthy Tom Lawler is going to challenge Lorenzo for the YouTube Championship. Lorenzo beat Lawler at the last pay-per-view to keep the belt after uh, that little attack by High Energy before the match. But uh, Lawler said he always wanted another match against Lorenzo, and tonight he's going to get that wish. Question is, will the championship be filthy tonight for Tom Lawler, or will Lorenzo keep that belt? For Lorenzo, it's not going to be an easy one. Lorenzo had a good good match earlier tonight as he was in a battle royal. He almost won a match for the M MSW World Championship, but uh, his odds just came up just short. As here it's going to be the filthy one versus one half of the wolf pack. If the game will load. Oh, there you go. The game loads. The following contest is turn for one fall and it is for the YouTube Championship. The issues in first, the challenger from wherever in the United States he wants to be in. He is the leader of Team Filthy and a former NJPW strong openweight champion, Filthy Tom Waller. Here comes the Filthy one, getting ready for his rematch against Lorenzo. You don't know if Lorenzo is 100% yet from that attack that he, the Hedman Wolfchild suffered from high energy. A couple episodes ago, but we'll find out if he still is or not. And his opponent, the champ. He's from the worlds of MSW and Shockwave Wrestling. He is one half. Over the wolf pack. And he is the current YouTube champion, Lorenzo. There's Lorenzo appealing to that crowd once again. That's just one of his favorite type of things to do when it comes to wrestling. Lorenzo is a big crowd favorite. But he's definitely going to have to rely on the fans to give him energy tonight if he wants to beat the filthy one. So here we go, Lawler versus Lorenzo in our second title match of the evening. Champions are one for one tonight as Sweet Tooth kept his never open weight title against John Mox. Is, oh, the head of Lorenzo goes head first in the turnbuckles. And the filthy one is in control early. Lawler, ooh, accent right to the side of the head. Lawler's in control. Lawler single, oh beautiful, single leg back body drop from Tom Lawler. Lawler in control against Lorenzo, uh oh, roll through the guillotine by Lawler. Tom Lawler in control early, look at this counter by Lorenzo, get out of that guillotine. Uh, no, I've not seen your stream yet there, uh, Jonathan, but I will later. I just haven't had time to yet. Lorenzo in trouble on the apron and down he goes to the floor. Oh, look out here, Lawler top rope. This is dangerous here. Tom Lawler's going high risk early. Oh man, diving tub black sandal to the floor. Lawler, oh no. Oh, spin out, you're not on the floor. And the champion's back has got to be feeling bad right now. Look at Lawler stomp at the hands of Lorenzo. Hopefully Wolfchild is not watching this currently because uh, I don't think he wants to see his tag partner get beaten down by Lawler. Cover here by Lawler to win the YouTube Championship. And a kick out there by Lorenzo. Lorenzo back to his feet. Lawler tried to go for a guillotine again. He's got it locked in again. Lawler has it locked in once again. Is Lorenzo, can he escape this submission again by the filthy one? And he does, he gets out of it. But that was without some wear and tear. Lorenzo has it hard in the corner. Lorenzo, tornado, DDT. Max 
Vicious hand on the face of Lawler. Champ is fighting back. Fist drop right to the head of Lawler, right to his forehead. Uh-oh, look out. Oh, down goes Lorenzo. Lawler got right back up and he just basically headbutted Lorenzo to the floor. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, sit out your Nagi right on the floor. Oh, the back of Lorenzo again. Getting beaten the hell out of there by Lawler. And Lawler has Lorenzo. I don't know how much more Lorenzo can take right now. Lorenzo trying to get back to his feet. He suffered a lot of damage in this match. Dragging screw from Lawler. And Lawler takes out the leg. Oh, went for a kick or something. Lorenzo did, but he got caught. No, the Urinagi from Tom Lawler. Back to his feet, Lorenzo. He caught Lawler. Lawler called the chop big time. Lorenzo, oh, low kick from Lawler. Oh, Dragon Suplex. Oh, man. Uh oh. Bang. Oh, the knee was blocked by Lorenzo. Lorenzo blocked that knee by Lawler. Cover. And a kick out. She takes out that arm. Good counter. Lawler. Lorenzo caught him. Nice head scissors. Beautiful by the YouTube champ. Lawler went for a kick to the knee. He missed. Lorenzo with the knee of zone. Uh oh. Lorenzo, look out from behind though. Oh, Lawler's raking at the eyes. Come on, referee. Oh. He stomps that leg of Lorenzo. Lorenzo back to his feet. Lawler with an elbow. Stomps that leg. Oh, Waxan Ricky's back. Oh, and a hook kick. Lawler. Going around that forehead of Lorenzo. Tom Lawler. Push kick right to his knee. Look out, Tom Lawler with a sliding knee right across the head of Lorenzo. And it's over, filthy Tom Lawler is the new YouTube champion. Here is your winner and the new YouTube champion, the filthy one, Tom Lawler. Tom Lawler push kicking that knee of Lorenzo and a sliding knee right to the side of the head of Lorenzo puts away the champion and Tom Lawler can say that he has a championship in his collection now. It's fair to say Lorenzo was not 100%, but Tom Lawler took advantage and now he's YouTube champion. All right, next up, Fatal 4-Way match for the Mortal Kombat Championship. The Switchblade, Jay White, Marty Scroll, Alex Shelley, and the champion, Adrian Coleman. Uh, Vampiro, if you're still in the chat, uh, this is the match that I had you choose a number for to pick who would be in this match, and your number chose Marty Scroll. Uh, I just want to give a couple shout-outs before this match will begin. Uh, the normal shout-outs... Uh, Vampiro0712, just because he had a show tonight, he deserves the shout-out. All right, so let me do that again. Uh, Vampiro0712, Shockwave Wrestling, Iron Taylor, Dust Killer 30, The Franchise Guy, Prince Macau, Number 6 with Cheese, all of those guys at shout-outs is normal. Random shout-outs, uh, Death Before Dishonor from Reign of Honor. I watched that earlier today. Pretty good. G1 Climax in Japan. Been a great, great G1 so far this year. Amazing, amazing G1. We're almost at the home stretch of the G1. The home stretch starts on August 5th. And final shout-out of today. Uh, the Texas Rangers for fleecing the New York Mets of Max Scherzer. As we will begin this fatal four way here. Falling contest, Chisel 4 1 Falls, a fatal four way elimination match for the Mortal Kombat Championship. Introducing first, 
He is the villain, Marty Sproul. There's Marty Sproul down in the ring, former ROH six-man world tag team champion. He is apparently maybe returning to our pro wrestling after a little hiatus, a little hiatus. And he's supposed to make his return at NWA 75. And so far, it might be against that, might be against Matt Cardona. I don't know, but it looks like it might be against Matt Cardona. Answers his opponents first, another challenger. He is the current TNA Impact World Champion. He is one half of the Motor City Machine Guns, Alex Shelley. Here's Alex Shelley coming down to the ring here. Shelley has been a pretty good Impact World Champion since he won it against Steve Macklin in Australia. In Australia. Or not Australia, sorry. He won it in, uh, against all odds against Steve Macklin, and he's uh, he retained his title against Nick Aldis at Slammiversary, which then uh, the former champ, Josh Alexander, came out and congratulated Alex Shelley, and you never know, we might see Josh Alexander versus Alex Shelley later on down the line. It'll be a pretty good match. And the other challenger. If uh, the game would like to load here. He is a part of the Bullet Club Gold in AEW. He is the switchblade, Jay White. There's Jay White. I haven't seen him in a little while, thanks to his little uh, awesomeness that's been going on AEW collision. Which surprisingly, AEW Collision has been really good since it started, and I would say it's better than Dynamite. I would say it's better than Raw and SmackDown and NXT. And heck, I'll maybe go and tell us to say it's as good as um, Impact, what they're doing on their Thursday show. And introducing the champion from Nashville, Tennessee. He is the true bastard wrestling and the man of a thousand egos. The current MEOW Mortal Kombat champion, Adrian Coleman. Okay, I, I might not join just because I, I gotta wake up early tomorrow morning. I'm, I probably may not join, just all depends on what time it is when I finish up here. But uh, if I do, I do. If I don't, I'll just watch it tomorrow after I get off work. There's a. Uh, I know that I know that Vampiro has the same thing. He uh, he he has to work, and uh, he knows this can be a time problem when it comes to doing these. I, I feel his pain. I don't have to work graveyard shifts, so that's one thing I do hold an advantage of. I don't have to work any graveyard shifts. I I mainly do mornings right now at the moment. It's a beautiful snap dragon bite. Coleman, but a kick out there by Shelley. Cover, kick out by Stroll. Very interesting that two former members of Bullet Club are fighting right now, and Stroll and uh, Jay White. Beautiful double knees by Coleman. <coughs> Whoa, big tornado DDT from out Shelley. This is an uh, elimination match, so. Last man standing wins the, the Mortal Kombat belt, unless you're Coleman, which means you retain. Nice bump up kick right there to Jay White. Ooh, beautiful by Alex Shelley. Alex Shelley came super close to being Infinity Champion though. And, and a few episodes ago, in a Fatal 4-Way match, where uh, it was won by Zack Sabre Jr. The final two of that was Zack Sabre Jr. and Alex Shelley. But uh, a dealing with Napalm Death won the match for Zack Sabre Jr. and the championship. There's a right to the eyes by the switchblade. As Marty Sprouls turned an armbar blind. Big shot by Jay White. And Jay drops the head. 
out. Shelling with his turnbuckle. Just look out. Jay White. Jay White with a springboard to the floor. Kick out by Shelly, but Coleman with a dive and double axe handle. Oh, damn, with one on the floor. Jay White, oh, knee, right to the back of Shelly. Coleman slapping Sproul. Jay saying, ain't my dust to Shelly, but here's Alex Shelly. Coleman, Fisherman's brain buster on the floor. That's dangerous. Look out here, Jay White. Switchblade, uh, Sproul starting to dart. Oh, Thomas, Thomas stretched, never caught in the corner by Jay White. White throws Shelly back in that same corner. And he punts the ropes in the leg of Shelly. Shelly thrown back in that same corner. Good counter low from Shelly. Oh, whoa! Cutter by Alex Shelly. It's not a gun stun, but a heck of a move. Shelly! Nice kick. What a kick by Alex Shelly. Oh. Jay White sides counter. Shelly is in trouble right now. Jay White's pulling to the center of the ring here. Switchblade. Wait a Coleman with that push to the knee. He's going for the last shot, and he got it. Last shot from Coleman. Kick up by Stroll. Jay White with a spinning Mishinoku driver. Kick out low by Alex Shelly. going to be the first man eliminating this match. Oh, Jay White. What a move there. Jay White going after the champ, Coleman, here. Jay White with a beautiful drop kick right onto the floor. Switchblade, what a move. And a kick out from Coleman. Alex Shelley with a beautiful springboard drop kick. It's elbow by Shelley. Jay White, I think, set up for it. Blade Runner! Blade Runner! Blade Runner on Coleman! Now oh, Coleman kicks out a Blade Runner. Man, Jay White almost took out the champ. Uh, good kick out from Coleman of Blade Runner. Oh, I thought Coleman was done. I thought Coleman was out of it, but no, a good kick out of Blade Runner. Oh, Alex Shelley! Shelley with Shell! Shaw! Alex Shelley hit Shell Shaw! Shell Shaw on Jay White, and he's gone! Jay White's been eliminated by Alex Shelley. What a move by Alex Shelley. He hit Shell Shaw on Jay White to take away the switchblade. And now we're down to Shelley, Coleman, and Stroll. And Alex Shelley do it again and take out someone again. I know he would love to win this match. Stroll thrown back in the rain. Alex Shelley's going to go after Coleman here. I know these fans want an Alex Shelley win. I don't blame them. It would be great to see Alex Shelley win, this, win the title tonight. Cover by Shelley. Alex Shelley can take out Marty Sproul for a kick out. Coleman, oh, knee right to the head of Alex Shelley. And now Marty, Marty Sproul. Wait, Coleman says, come on, bring him over here. And look at this, double team by Sproul and Coleman. Wait a second, Marty Sproul, Marty. Rock style pile driver. Rock style pile driver on Adrian Coleman. Rock style on Adrian Coleman. Can someone get cover on the on Coleman? Shelley's waiting for him though. Alex Shelley rolls him up. Bang! Super kick from Alex Shelley. Alex Shelley. Oh come on, referee! You're supposed to count that pin. Oh, and Sproul takes out Shelley. Coleman, Cutter. Coleman, Cutter on the floor. And I think we're going again to Shelley versus Coleman. No! Kick out from Marty Sproul. Marty Sproul somehow kicks out. Oh, what a forearm from Alex Shelley. 
Shelley. Counter from Coleman. Coleman. Hardy Sprawl counters. Sprawl throws Coleman right in the hole. Oh. Wait a second here, Alex Shelley's in trouble. Oh, claps the ears of Alex Shelley. Nice roll counter by Alex Shelley. Coleman from behind. Alex Shelley rolls him up. Super kick, Alex Shelley. Can Alex Shelley take out the Royal Combat Champion? It'll be amazing. Coleman, oh, a cover on the floor, no way. No, not on Shelley, cover. Referee, very slow count. And there goes Alex Shelley. We're down to Coleman versus Stroll. Oh, what a knee. Can Marty Stroll be the man to beat Adrian Coleman? Stroll in trouble here. Marty, uh-oh, Guillotine. Guillotine's going to get applied here. A big time Guillotine by Adrian Coleman. Will he make Stroll tap out? Marty fights out. Marty got out of it. That's good if he wants to win. Got to stop Coleman from getting these moves on him. Marty Sprawl. I think all Sprawl needs is one big move and it's done. Marty. Oh, geez. German suplex right on to that sledgehammer. Sprawl's got the arm. Very strong, can you lock in that cross face chicken winners? He sometimes will call it the villain lock. Sprawl throws Coleman back in the ring. Marty Sprawl. He just hit one big move to win that championship. Can he do it? But Coleman reverses. Coleman got out of it. Double knees. No, he missed. Marty Sprawl moved out of the way. Sprawl the kick. Marty thinking brain buster. Got it, Brian Buster. Now Marty Sproul's going to try to end it. Sproul. Off the ropes goes Coleman. Down on the floor. Sproul will fall to the outside. Cover by Marty. Referee, get out there. Come on. Cover. Kick out from Coleman. Going back to his feet. Adrian Coleman throws him back inside. Marty back to his feet already. Coleman got caught though. Down to the floor he goes. Almost ran on that sledgehammer. Shot by Sprawl. Marty's thinking that, that submission. Can he get it? Can he just get it locked in? He's got it locked in. Coleman, is he going to tap? Then he taps. Marty Sprawl's done it. Marty Sprawl is champion. Here's your winner and the new Mortal Kombat champion, the villain, Marty Sproul. I guess uh, champions are now one for two tonight. We got two new champs tonight. Can, I just, can you believe it? Marty Stroll with an amazing victory. We did, as, no, he just did something that someone hasn't done in a long time, and that's pin or submit Adrian Coleman. And look what happened. He did it. All right, next match coming up here. The hardcore belt was on the line. Drilla Maloney with Clark Connors at ringside will face off with Juice and Thunder Liger. But before we have the match, we gotta go backstage because Marty Stroll has something to say. I need to drink water here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm backstage with the new Mortal Kombat champion, Marty Stroll. Uh, yes, it's me, Clark Hens. I decided to steal the mic for a quick second. But Marty Stroll, you gotta know, it's gotta feel amazing now to have won a championship. Oh, I gotta say, man, the villain is back on top when it comes to titles. 
I am now your Mortal Kombat champion of beating that stupid idiot Adrian Tolman. And it's time to party, man. It just, oh, I just can't believe it. The villain, it's villain time, baby. Whoop, whoop. And it's time to celebrate. But I'm, doing, I'm just going to get out of here, Clark. I just want to celebrate now. All right, go ahead. Go celebrate, Marty. You deserve it after that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the Hardcore Championship. Here's his first challenger from England. He weighs at 200 and 50 some uh, and and uh, he weighs 100, 200 and 27 pounds. He is a part of the Bullet Club War Dogs. Drilla Maloney. Here's Maloney with Clark Connors. Who knows what Clark Connors is going to do in this matchup? Because Connors is in the main event, which is after this. Introducing the champion from Japan. He is considered one of the greatest, if not the greatest, junior heavyweight in the in wrestling history. He is also one of the most recognizable mass wrestlers of all time. He is the current MEOW hardcore champion. He is Juicing Thunder Liger. Here's Liger getting ready for the matchup of a lifetime here against Drilla Maloney. Stipulation for this match is if Drilla Maloney loses, he can never challenge Juice and Thunder Liger ever again. Even if it's for a championship or even if the title isn't even on, a, on the line, he can't even challenge for him. We'll see if Maloney can beat, can beat the champ tonight. Here we go. It's Liger versus Maloney. Maloney only got this because him and Alex Quadlin beat Liger in a tag match last week. As a matter of correctly, it was Iron Taylor, Juice and Thunder Liger that faced Maloney and Quadlin. As right now Maloney's in control of Juice and Thunder Liger. <coughs> oh, what a high knee by Maloney. What a knee. Right now, Clark Connors just not doing anything on the side, but I'm waiting for something here. Beautiful move, straight jacket by Drilla Maloney on uh, Juice and Thunder Liger. Man, Liger's in trouble already. The match has hardly started. And the champ's in trouble. And look out, Drilla Maloney with a suicide dive. Clark Connors is liking what he is seeing from Drilla Maloney right now. His buddy, who is one half the IWGP uh, Junior Heavyweight Champion. But here comes Liger. Down goes Maloney. Cover by Liger. Kick out there by Maloney. Oh, and a kick to Maloney. Here comes Juice and Thunder Liger. Liger saying, bring it on to Maloney. Maloney throws him on to the corner here. Drill Maloney. Good shot right in the back of Liger. Liger's leg plays him. Oh, the rope got pointed into the leg. And Juice and Thunder Liger. Oh, there's a kick from Liger. And here comes the champ. Here comes Liger. And you don't want Juice and Thunder Liger in this match. Monkey flip. Oh, beautiful senton by Liger. Oh, but here comes Maloney. Here comes Maloney. 
Drill and Maloney. Drop kick. Beautiful. Maloney is feeling it right now. But it's Juice and Thunderlider. There's the push to the knee. Can he hit the drop kick? And he does. He hits that sliding drop kick. Will it be enough? No, a kick out. Juice and Thunder Liger with a kick out. Oh, but here we go from behind. Liger. Liger, big back suplex. What a back suplex by Liger. And now there's a German suplex, and right now the champ is in control. Liger. Oh, what is this? Joseph and Thunder Liger, what a submission. Liger, what a submission on Maloney. Caught a rank to a cross face, like a chicken wing by Liger. Oh, and an elbow right to the head. Liger thrown in the corner by Maloney. Maloney. Waiting for Liger up. Oh, good counter by Liger. He forced Maloney to hit the turnbuckle. Monkey flip. And right now, Liger. Oh, I thought Liger was thinking. I thought Liger was thinking shooting star, but he was not. And now he's thinking Liger bomb at some point. Oh, double stomp right to the arm of Maloney. Liger going after that arm. A drop right to the arm of Maloney. Liger, oh, he had a kick to the head. Maloney, he was thinking Drillakilla, but he missed it. He missed it. Liger, springboard, boom, soul. Joseph Thunder Liger. Liger, oh, blocked by Maloney. And now he rolls to the floor. Liger back to his feet. Maloney with a dive. Dan Maloney with a heck of a dive to the floor. Now stomp away at the chest of Juice and Thunder Liger. Liger thrown back into the ring by Maloney. Liger, wait, 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 wait. Maloney's top rope. Maloney's top rope. Driving elbow right to the back of Liger. That can do it. That may do it here. Oh, the champ is still alive. How is Juice and Thunder Liger still in this match? Wait, Clark's talking to him. Wait, Liger. Juice and Thunder Liger. Brain buster. Liger hit a brain buster. Liger's going up top. Juice and Thunder Liger. Shooting star. Liger hit the shooting star. And what the hell is this? Tor Connors. Clark Connors talking official. What the hell is this? Shooting star again. Shooting star again from Liger. Oh, but wait, come on. What the hell? What the hell? Liger's got a cover. He's got a three count. He's got a three count. Here's the cover. Maloney kicks out. Come on. If it wasn't for Clark Connors, Maloney was done. Oh, where did DDT? If it wasn't for Clark Connors, this match would have been over. Wait a second, Liger, suicide sent on. Clark Connors saving the match for Dan Malone, for Drilla Maloney. That bastard, Clark Connors. Liger drops the knee. Liger in trouble. Well, went for the same move here, but no, no one hit. Maloney throws Liger in the barricade here. Five count. And the referee, Jet Connors. Oh, come on. A knee right to the side of the neck of Jason Thunder Liger. Liger thrown back in the ring. Liger is down. I don't know if he can get back up. He is back up, though. Maloney in the knee. Oh, come on, leg drop right in the back of the neck. Liger trying to get back to his feet. Oh, God, what a back suplex. Liger trying to get back to his feet. Wait a second, Liger caught him out of nowhere. Liger, bomb! Liger on a Liger bomb, but no, the rope break. The rope break by Maloney. Oh, goes in. Goes in the corner. Liger. Oh, no, a shot right in the back. Oh, Maloney missed. Maloney throws the ropes. Liger misses a chop. 
Step up, kick, no one home. Liger. Liger. Oh, what the hell was that? Joseph Thunder Liger in the suplex pile driver? And it's done, Joseph Thunder Liger retains. Here's your winner of the match and still hardcore champion, Joseph Thunder Liger. Joseph Thunder Liger retains the championship. After everything that Liger fought through in the match, he hits a suplex pile driver, or as Joe Kenny calls it, the, the screw fly solution to retain the title. And now, Drill Maloney can never challenge Juice and Thunder Liger ever again. That was a stipulation. If Maloney lost, he can never challenge Liger again. What a win for Juice and Thunder Liger. Wow. Just wow, what a win. Now we've reached our main event of the evening. Triple threat match. First man named Pinfall or Submission wins the belt. Unless you're Zach, which means you retain. We got Clark Connors, Corey Crichton, and Zach Sabre Jr. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now people in the crowd may be saying, why is Clark in this match? Should we just Corey versus Zach? Well, if you didn't see the steel cage match from last episode, which was a freaking five-star out of five-star type of a steel cage match, the committee thought it was only a fair idea to give both men the shot at Zack Sabre Jr. Since Zack is a great champion. I've been told, though, that after the, this match is over with, the world champion Katsuri Shibata will have to go to the ring and he has a promo to talk about what is happening with Corey Crichton coming up and what is going on with Gabe Kidd as we begin this match. The following main event contest, Sergio for one fall is a triple threat match for the Infinity Championship. Anderson is first from the deserts of our world. He is a part of the Bullet Club War Dogs. He is one half the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. He is Mr. 100 Proof, Clark Connors. His opponent first from from England. He is the legend himself. He is the former belt collector and the fan of Dead Leopard, Corey Crichton.
It is a, and the champion he is from the UK slash Europe. He's a part of TMDK. He is the first and only IWGP World Television Champion. And he is the current MOW Infinity Champion, Zach Saber Jr. Bell is on the line. First man, you pin for submission, wins the match. Clark Connors, Corey Crichton, Zach Sabre Jr. Who's walking out of Japan tonight with the Infinity Belt? Will the champ retain, or will we see a brand new champion? Corey Crichton is the only man of the three to have not won the Infinity Championship. Clark Connors won it when he beat James H. Denise. He would then go on to lose the belt to John Moxley. Connors has tried and clawed to get another chance at the belt, and tonight is his shot. Zack Sabre Jr. won it not too long ago from John Moxley in a federal four-way match. We last eliminated Alex Shelley to win the title. He retained it at our last pay-per-view against Carnage. Right, beautiful body slam. And here's Connors from behind. After this, our world champion, Katsuri Shibata, is coming down to the ring for a promo. Springboard kick, though, by Clark Connors. Clark Connors, and the body trot. But here's Zach from behind, taking out the arm. If I have to pause the uh, stream during one part of this, don't worry about it. That's just me setting something up for the promo and stuff. So don't worry if I have to pause this. Zach targeting the arm of Clark Connors. I'll probably have one more stream after this. Uh, mainly it'll be baseball. I don't know what baseball uh, video would be. Uh, I gotta check my channel to see what video it's gonna be. But I know it's um, one thing. I, I don't remember what it is. Nice takedown from Clark Connors. I think I know what it is. Oh yeah, I definitely know what it is. Okay, never mind. Definitely know what the game is on MLB The Show. Nice shot in the back. Don't forget guys, when August 14th hits, I'll have Madden 24 on the channel. Uh, I don't know if I'll have it, a video on it that exact day, but I don't know if I'll have it either on that day or the day after. Oh, Clark, Clark Connors was First video of Madden this year will be a team overview video, which mainly will just focus on each team going into the lead this upcoming season and all that. Clark Connors with suicide dive. Nap breaker there. Nice side breaker. Beautiful. Take now the leg there. Ooh, snap suplex on the floor. Yes, yeah, so it's, uh, the next game's going to be the Los Angeles Angels in the Oakland A's on MLB The Show. That'll be game three of that series between the Angels and the A's. What is this by 
Clark Connors. Oh my goodness, electric chair German suplex. Clark Connors. He needs to get a pin or something on Zach. And he's thinking overshadow. Can he hit it? Oh, but a good counter from Zach. Beautiful counter from Zach Saber Jr. to keep the match alive. And Pele kicked to the arm of Clark Connors. Right. Side break. Crichton and Zack Sabre Jr. Corey Crichton, double, underhook, power bomb. Clark, Clark in the corner here. Clark's arm getting dragged into the ropes by Crichton. Looks like both Zack and uh, Crichton were at the arm of Clark Connors tonight. Oh, look at these sledgehammer shots from Corey Crichton. Zack, truck him. Zack Sabre Jr. kicking him down Corey. Zach, is he thinking of Zach Driver? He is. Zach Saber Jr. No, oh, blocked by Crichton. Crichton, the beautiful German suplex. Crichton going off on Connors. Truck kick. Crichton's feeling it once again. Corey Crichton. Waiting for Zach here. Crichton goes for the floor. Zach's thinking Zach Driver. No. Stopped by Corey Crichton. Oh wait, Clark from behind, sleeper hold, sleeper hold. And that was broken up by Corey. German with the bridge. Corey Crichton, kicked out by Connors. Clark in trouble, got his arm again. Clark's arm tripped in the mat and more damage to that arm than Clark Connors. Uh oh, Zach's got a kendo stick, look out. From behind, Crichton. Beautiful back suplex by. Corey Crichton, oh, takedown from Clark Connors. This match still goes on, it continues. Clark grabs some steel steps, look out from behind, it's Zach Sabre Jr. <coughs> off the rope, Zach, pop off the drops, drops uh, Clark Connors. Crichton back to his feet, I think he was thinking of that code breaker, but down goes Crichton. Oh, stop that arm. Oh, takedown again from Clark Connors. A lot of takedowns today by Clark Connors. Nice insecurity by Corey Crichton. Clark Connors in trouble. Zach, trying to screw. And takes down the leg. Springboard back elbow, he missed, Corey missed. That kick out from Connors at two. Zach Saber Jr. almost won it. Corey, super kick! He hit it, he hit it! Corey Crichton! Kick up from Zach Sabre Jr. Corey Crichton almost won it. What a great kick up from Zach Sabre Jr. to keep it alive. Springboard Connor. Corey Crichton. Oh, what is this from Clark Connors? Clark was thinking pound source. Just hit the Jeep flip, but he couldn't go for it in time. Shim breaker to Clark Connors. A shot right to the back. Zach in the corner. Zach thrown from the other corner. Crichton, bull dog. Two handed bull dog. Clark Connors and Corey Crichton in the ring together. Wait a second. Clark's thinking Jeep flip. Can he hit it? Clark Connors, but Jeep flip. He got it. Clark Connors. Clark's trying to get a pin here. Referees having a spastic attack. Broken up from Zach Saber Jr. Referee was having a spasm attack. Zach, Zach Saber Jr. dealing with napalm death. Napalm death is applied. Oh, it's broken up by Crichton. Crichton broke it up. Corey broke it up. Oh, now he's got a baseball bat. Oh, he's second the arm of Zach. Or should I say Clark exposed again. Corey, baseball bat shot. No one home. Octopus hold, standing octopus hold by Zack Sabre Jr. Crichton trying to fight out of it. He does, sidewalk slam for Corey Crichton. Crichton, oh, I thought he was trying to go for something, he didn't go for it. Zack Sabre Jr. trying another octopus hold. Is Corey going to tap out to Zack Sabre Jr.? It's broken up by Clark Connors. Wait a second, Clark and Zack working together here. Corey with a kick up. Crichton. Oh, he right 
and a grab for the break. Zach from behind. Uh oh, Zach got caught. Zach got caught. Sleeper by Court Connors. Court Connors and a sleeper locked in tight. Can Zach get out of the sleeper? Clark Connors. Zach's fading. Oh, starter counter. Zach Saber Jr. and Clark Connors throws him off the ropes. Draw Toho. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Dealing with Nate Pomp Death. Dealing with Nate Pomp Death on Crichton. It's Crichton on tap. But Clark Connors breaks it off to save the match. Wait a second, Zach Driver. No, Corey stopped it. Crichton, super kick. Corey Crichton in a super kick. Oh, a shoulder block from Connors. And an elbow. Pop up knee. Kick the back of the head. Kick to the back of the head. Wait a second, Clark Connors is trying to steal this. The over shadow. Here's your winner and the new Infinity Champion. 100 proof. Clark Connors. Corey Crichton had the thing wanted done, but Clark Connors sending him into the ropes. Clark hit overshadow on Zack Sabre Jr. and he pins him to win the title. Talk about stealing a win from someone else. Now before the, this part begins for the promo, I just gotta pause the stream for just a quick second. All right, and here we go. We have Katsuri Shibata, the champion, coming out of the ring to talk about what's going on with uh, his life, his championship, and other things. And Shibata. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say this thing about the War Dogs, can't believe what's going on here. Wait. No. This is about to say something. There's Carlin and there's Kid. What the hell is this for? No way, come on, don't do this. He was just about to talk a promo about his championship and what's going on and now these two have shown up. Where's security? Oh, I forgot, security sucks. Security doesn't know how to do their damn jobs. Kid isn't even supposed to friggin' be here. I thought he was supposed to be, I thought he was banned. But security doesn't know how to do their job. But here, I guess Codlin challenged Shibata to something here. But just like, what the hell, man? What the hell? Why? Why do we need this to happen? Just why? Oh! Oh, come on! Oh, come on, and a kick out. Why is this even happening? Why? We don't need this to happen, man. We were just going to have a nice little talk. 
we were having just a nice little talk about things. But look what happens. It gets ruined because of these two idiots. Yeah, something nice happened. Well, that was supposed to happen. Okay, never mind. And look at this, Gabe Kid. <laughs> I guess he has been thrown out, but never mind. Oh, fuck it, I just gonna. <laughs> Screw it, 2K sucks anyway. Anyway, we're supposed to lead to this, but thanks to 2K, they suck. Okay, anyway. Thanks to freaking what just happened, we're now we're gonna have this go on. Kid distracting Katsuri Shibata, referee decides, you know, let's just call it. I don't know why the ref needs to call it for, but apparently this game sucks because it won't let me do what I want to do with it. Anyway. And now... We got a brawl in the rain and outside. As now we got now Kid and Carlin now are involved. Referee can't really do any damn thing about it. Referee can't really do a freaking thing about it. Oh, down goes Shabata. The referee can't do jack jack all about this. And look out, Alex Carlin. Ref can't do jack about this just because of what's been going on with these men. Oh, come on. A knee drop by Gabe Kidd. Gabe, you're okay with the knee. And he's saying, all right, ref, give me, just let me uh, attack him. Come on, ref, let me bait him down. Look at this, Toddlin just. There needs to be some freaking stability here. What is the referee doing? Why isn't the referee not doing a damn thing about this? What a kid just saying, all right, all right, getting back in my corner here. This isn't really an official match. This is just beat down. So oh, come on. Shibata can't guard this. Oh. Shibata can't really guard this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh. Jeez, come on, man. Referee. Referee's just letting this happen. Oh, this. Oh, look out, Codlin. Oh, God. Alex Codlin. Need AT right on the floor by Shibata. Kid. Oh my, Carlin moved out of the way for Gabriel Kid to hit him, to hit Shibata in the head with a boot. Oh, nice counter. Shibata's got it back in the ring here. to the score from Gabe Kidd. No way. Oh, Shibata. No, come on, Gabriel Kidd. Don't. He just 
saying to the referee, I'm just getting back in. Don't worry about me, ref. Oh. Well, that's Kid again. The referee's really giving him a business here. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. Uh oh. Kid's saying, don't pin him, man. We need to beat him down even more. Oh, oh. 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 game, kid, again. We need, to, we need to get someone to stop these two. Kid just wants to take out the referee so that he doesn't have to worry about the official. Oh, come on! Come on! Someone's gonna stop Gabe Kid, man. Someone needs to stop this kid. Someone's gonna get injured or someone's gonna get badly hurt if Gabriel Kid doesn't stop these attacks. Look, we got a chair now in the ring. And Kid. Hodlin. Where's Hodlin going? No, 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 no. No, no, no! Oh, come on! Come on, man! Gabriel Kidd with a, with a pile driver spiking the head of Shibata. Kid's saying, let me handle this. Kid just said, let me handle this. Big old, big move here. Oh. Kid's saying, come on, Carter, let me beat him down some more. And he just said, Carter, hold on now, Carter, let me deal with him. Oh, no, 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 okay, wait, wait. He just stole this submission. And he just said to Codlin, or Co he just said Codlin, get him back in the ring. Get his ass back in the ring right now. Oh no, 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 please no. No, wait, look, look. Look at what, what Codlin's doing. Codlin, he, uh, look, look, Kid saying, now, Kid saying, get him back in the ring. Oh, come on. Come on! Oh, wait a second. Kid just said, give me the fucking microphone. Give me the fucking mic. Oh, come on. Oi! What did I say? I say you don't give me my championship match against shitty Shibata. Then I'm just going to keep making his life and the company's life a living fucking nightmare. What did I just did? I just beat his ass down again. And it's going to keep happening. It's going to be even more brutal every time if you don't fucking do something about it. Come on, committee. Open your fucking eyes. I want this damn title match. Give it to me now. And if you don't, more consequences will happen to the world champion. If you don't give me my world championship match next episode, I'm going to break his fucking neck. How about that, huh? You want to keep Shabana's career in check? Give me the World Championship match episode, or else his neck is going to get shattered to a million pieces next episode if I don't get it next time. And that's it. That's all I got to fucking say. Let's go.